a few weeks ago i did a video where i talked about it wasn't my lipstick that you liked it was my lip liner technique that you were in love with and i said in that video that if you wanted me to i would be happy to bring you some lipstick combos and the overwhelming response was yes please let's do some lipstick combos we're going to do six today and i hope that you do enjoy them most of them will have lip liner lipstick and lip gloss and a few tips and tricks in there as well now if you didn't see that first video it talks all about the technique of lining your lips and how important it is for the mature woman to line her lips a certain way to make her lips look the most voluminous that she can so i highly suggest that you go back and take a look at that video and i will link it down below hopefully in the first pinned comment along with the rest of these products that i'm going to be talking about as always, I do have a numbering system where we will number the products and then we will list them down in the description box so that you guys can shop that way if you'd like to. Just remember the number that's next to the product. All right, first of all, we're gonna talk about what I have on. I'm gonna stand up for you in a second, but right now I wanna tell you that I have these cute heart hoop earrings that have just a beautiful silver diamond cut on them. They're so pretty. I love them. And then I just chose to pair it up with a serpentine sterling silver necklace. Love these so much. And I love that the silver goes so well with blue. Stay tuned to the end of the video for this lippy because it will be the very last one. Let's take a look at what I have on because I think you're really going to like it. This is a very dressy, very nice summer dress. But guess what? Underneath, it has the shorts built in. So you're not actually wearing a dress. You're wearing a romper kind of underneath the lace. I love this. And I don't care who says a word about it. I went for matchy matchy and I even wore a wedge sandal that came in blue, which I will show you fairly close up. And I even broke out my blue little satchel crossbody, which I absolutely love. Let me show you both of these up fairly close. I'm just going to squat down. This is such a cute purse. It is small though. And so don't try to overstuff it. If you're somebody that has to have a bigger handbag, I do have several of those that are in blue on my Amazon storefront, but this one is pretty small. It does have the crossbody strap that you can use if you want to have it as a crossbody purse. But how cute is that with the flat? over and all the gold, gold detailing on it. Then I'm going to take off the shoe and show you the shoe. Isn't it cute? It's just got like a one or two inch wedge heel and these are super comfortable, super easy for me to wear. And yes, now we're going to get on into that video. I want to start by recommending to you all that you do a little bit of contour on your lips. You can do that with just a grayish liner, something that will really cause a shadow underneath your lip right there. It's just going to make your lip look so so much bigger. I have used the Maybelline Tattoo Brow and this works so well. So you just basically paint it on underneath your lip right there and then you let it dry and take it off. I went way underneath my lip. It's not a big deal if you mess up a little bit. You know, in the beginning when you're putting it on, you could just take your finger and, you know, kind of even it out if you need to. Now we're just going to let that sit and dry for a minute, and then we're going to take it off, and I'll show you how easy it is to get that shadow underneath. It's dry now, and you can just take your finger and just roll it up. It's going to come off fairly easy. So this is what comes off. I don't know if you can even see that or not. That comes off and you're left with a little bit of stain on your lips right there. And it just works so well to give you a little bit of shadow that's going to make your pout look bigger. I do have a video all about that. Okay, now we're going to get into the combos. I do want to tell you that this is a Maybelline automatic eyeliner but it's in clear it just creates a barrier so if you have a lot of problems with bleeding on your lips go ahead and get one of these you'll really like it also sephora sells one which i will link down below too so that you can grab either one 
All right, so in the video where I showed you how to line your lips, I did talk about a new 90s grunge lip where we have the darkness and the overlining of the lips a little bit with that 90s look that we all wore where the lipstick was beige and the liner was brown. Well, here is a brown liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The name of it is Cool Brown. So I don't know that it's really a cool brown. It looks more like a medium kind of in between a warm and a neutral brown. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna line our lips with it and follow that same routine out of that video. And so if you haven't seen that video, you need to go back and watch it because I'm gonna use that this liner routine in every single one that I do. So here we go. Now the pretty thing about this look is we're going to go more for a little bit of color. Instead of the beige, we're going to adapt to a little bit of color, a little bit more modern. I absolutely love this one that is a peach color from Flower Beauty and this one is Peachy Nude. You can either take this for a very darker look with the peach. By the way, I should have shown you that on my hand. So there is the peach we're matching up with the brown. You can either go with more saturation or you can go lighter. It just depends on you. Purse your lips together, kind of make it a little bit of a nat more natural line, better than that stark line that we used to do when we did it in the 90s. And then I'm gonna take the Maybelline Lifter Gloss that I probably will be using as a topper through much of this. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right in the middle just to bring a little bit of life a little bit more shine to the lips now if you're somebody that would rather have it matte would rather have it satin just skip the lip gloss part and you have a beautiful lip color so that's number one so i took that off and as you can see i still have that shadow underneath my lip hopefully that will last through all six of these color choices the next thing i want to show you is actually from maybelline and this is called gone grayish this is one of my very favorite lip liners because it is that really cool tone shadow that really helps outline your lips but it just creates kind of a little bit more dimension a little bit more depth and you can always overline with this and really not have a problem so i'm going to go ahead and line goodness i need a new one of those mine was almost gone so i barely got enough out of it to do this lip i'm going to use one of my very favorites of all time lipsticks from mac this is called creme de la femme it does have a little bit of frost in it it is a beautiful lipstick with a lot of color payoff but a little bit of that frost look to it now the camera does wash that out just a little bit i wish you could see how nice and vibrant that is and if you love vibrant lipsticks then you definitely will love that i'm also going to top it off with this is the sephora outrageous volume lip gloss and again i'm just going to put that in the middle what I love about this lip gloss is it does have that plumping effect, but it also has just this beautiful little reflect that you can use, and it really does pick up a lot of shine without being sticky, without being tacky, and I love these glosses. Love this combo. I think it's so very pretty, and it's extremely feminine, and you're gonna find that most of my combos are going to lean towards being those colors that are cool tone and a little bit of springy colors with a little bit of nude in there. So I hope that you did enjoy seeing Creme de la Femme from MAC on this one. All right, with the number three combo, we are going to take the NYX and this is in Prune. I've shown this a lot on my channel. It is a burgundy that has a little bit of purple in it. And it's not for everyone, but for me, it is one of those ones that is a staple. I love wearing it. It's very cool toned, but it gives you a lot of depth. So let me go ahead and again, I will outline. I personally think this is one of those just absolutely beautiful lip liners. I wear this with peaches. I wear it with pinks. I wear it with beiges. It looks good with so many different colors. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pair it with a beige for you so that you can see this. Now, I think this one is called, I have a hard time seeing this. Okay. This one is called Purely Nude. This is a Maybelline lipstick and I'm going to pair it with this lip liner. 
Now it really brought that lip liner down, but it also will bring some dimension to the lipstick itself. And now I wanna go ahead and put one of my favorite butter glosses on top of it. This is NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. This is a cult classic that so many people wear. And what that's going to do, I mean, I feel like that went really flat when I put it on, but what it's gonna do when I put this NYX on top of it, it's gonna really brighten it up and we're gonna have Dimension again brought back. Not too much, just enough to cover it and make it come to life once again. So this is the Lip Combo with the Purely Nude and the NYX Butter Gloss. Lip Combo number four, we're gonna go completely with Rare Beauty, except for our gloss. Rare Beauty has some of the most fantastic lip liners. They're so creamy. This particular one is called Lively. Here I go, and again, these are this one is that automatic, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and line. I put this one in here for my girls that love coral lipstick. And then I'm also going to use one of their, I think these are their shine lipsticks. But again, this one is coral and this is a beautiful lipstick. It's kind of actually a bright peachy pink. So let's try this one on. That is one of those lipsticks that just feels so silky and it feels more like a balm than it does actually a lipstick so this won't last as long but it feels fantastic and it has a lot of yummy ingredients in it and now i'm going to just top that with the buxom white russian which is one of my favorite toppers as well it's kind of got a little bit of reflect in it so that you can just about put it onto any lipstick and it will really just amp it up it really doesn't need it on this particular one but if you want to have just a little bit extra you can put the buxom gloss on and it will make it shine just that much more so that one is the rare beauty combos with the buxom lip gloss now we're on to the number five combo and this one is east end snob from rimmel beautiful color it is kind of just your basic rosy pink a little bit brighter go ahead and line it so you can see it i hope you're noticing in each of these combos how nice it is to have that little bit of shadow to make the lips look a little bit more plump it just really elevates everything okay that's the liner now i'm going to take primrose from revlon another great lipstick company all of these are just fantastic lipstick lipstick company this one will match the lip liner so well even though that's a beautiful look and you're matching almost perfectly we don't want to get too matchy so what i want to suggest to you is you take something like this from sephora collection and this is the glossed glosses and this one is in money this is a trichrome chrome gloss i'm so sorry about the jets going over top but this is going to elevate this lippy like no other okay did you see the magic happen with that wow i love this gloss i've talked about it so many times on my channel i wear it with so many things that's like my third or fourth tube of it it is just so pretty and it just matches just about any lipstick that you put on okay the last one is the most dramatic and this is called dahlia desire and it is from flower beauty i am not going to wear a regular lip liner with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that eyeliner that i talked about just about dropped my mirror that eyeliner and i'm gonna just use it for a lip liner so nothing goes outside the line and then i'm gonna take dahlia desire i love this color it is a bright bold berry and i absolutely love it so here we go but remember this one has to act as your liner and your lipstick so make sure you're a little bit more careful I want to tell you that gives you a little bit of tips and tricks when we're right here and we're talking about such a bright and vibrant lipstick is that if you have a tendency to have this lipstick bleed if it's dark or if you have a tendency to get it on your, your teeth which I do all the time you're going to want to blot it right now fairly well and then you're kind of left with a stain and then go back in and give yourself a second coat of it. And I talked about this in the other video as well. That's going to make it bulletproof for you and not have to worry about bleeding so much. I'm going to take and I'm going to touch the center of it with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss again. This one is in pearl once again. 
finish it off and that is the sixth one i hope that you did enjoy seeing these if you did please give it a thumbs up tell me all about your favorite lipsticks down below in the comment section i'd love to hear some of your favorite lip combos these are mine and i thought they would be really great for summer so hope you all are doing well please be happy be healthy take care of yourselves i love you so much and i'll catch you in my next video goodbye my friends